hey guys you're welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we'll be looking at a modified mamet skirt so there are different types of mamet skirt the one that you just from the knee you take out to the flare on the hem like these pictures and the other one where you have the knee more shapey and coffee just like this ones so now we'll be doing the second type of mamet skirt that's why i'm calling it a modified mamet skirt and then i will start by drawing a start point where i will place my vertical measurement so from this line that i have drawn at the top edge of the fabric i will measure downwards 10 inches that will be for my hip line and 18 inches for my knee line and the second knee line i'm just making two inches different now you can use three inches okay but i'm using two inches here and the next thing i will mark the desired skirt length so i'll draw this length out and then i'll place my horizontal measurement so for this method my measurement will be divided by two on the west line and on the knee line now for the measurement i have on the west line is your total west circumference divided by two plus 0 0.5 inch now that 0 0.5 we are adding it because of the tummy so whatever you have you divide that by two and because we are cutting this on fold so you place it on your waist measurement and add your seam allowance for the hip line i'll be placing using this formula of that less pencil skirt i'll place my hip circumference divided by two minus 1.5 and whatever I have, I'll divide it by two because I'm cutting this on fold. Place that and add my seam allowance. On my knee line, I am subtracting one from what I have on my hip line. And then I'll add my seam allowance. So for the modified knee line, I am going inwards more, you know, going inwards further. Subtracting what I have on my knee, subtracting one inch I from what I have on my knee line, I'll place it on that modified knee line, on my second knee line. And then on my hem there, I am placing what I have on my knee line and I will add my flare allowance. You can add 8, 10, 12 inches. It depends on what you want. But for this one, I used 8 inches. At this point, I'll be connecting the dots that I have on my waist line to my hip and from my hip to my first knee line and then my second knee line so from my second knee line i'll simply use a longer ruler and i'll connect that point to what i have on my hem okay so now after connecting that that shape i have there is not really giving so i'll use my pattern master the curve part and then i'll simply blend that part and that's the shapey part you see in this picture okay so after you've sewn it it will make your skirt this way so now after connecting that on my waistline because of the tummy i'll be going downwards from my waistline i'll going downwards with half inch okay that's the contouring i do on all my skirts just for the tummy so to make the skirt sit proper so i'll connect that to my waist measurement and on my hem there i am going upward with about one one quarter you can use up to one and a half or two inches if that's what you want okay so after that i'll cut this out and then place what i have as my front panel on my back panel so my back panel for my zipper allowance i'll be using four inches that's because i need a little more room for my hip measurement and then and then the flay so the flay i don't want it that much that's why i'm using four inches so if you want it more you can use it use up to eight inches or ten or twelve depends on what you want and how full you want your flay to be so my my skirt is always one inch higher at the the west line and that's what i did i'm extending the lines that i have on my hip line the first knee line the second knee line and my hem there 
so on my hip line i'm using that measurement of total hip circumference divided by 2 plus 1.5 remember the 1.5 that i subtracted from the front bodies i'm adding that to on my knee line i'll simply extend these lines inwards and from my back center line i will measure one inch inwards on both knee lines and that's what i'll be using to contour that part moving over to my back waist line so you know that when you're drafting your basic bodies normally at the back half length i go in with one inch and that's what i'll be observing on this part okay so i'll go inwards on my back waist line with one inch and i'll connect it to meet the hip measurement that i have already marked and then i'll connect that hip to the first knee and the second knee lines just not the way i use my curve ruler so then i'll connect that part with the longer ruler you know that point that i have on my second knee line i'll connect it to meet the flare allowance that i added at the hem there so then i'll use my curve and i will mark one inch as my zipper allowance now this one inch i'm adding becomes a zipper allowance from my waistline to the hip line but from the hip line there to the knee and the hem it becomes my seam allowance for the back bodies okay so now i'm connecting that and then i'll simply cut this part out So remember the formula we used on the west line because I added half inch to the front panel because of the tummy. So on the back panel, I'll be subtracting that half inch. So I'm simply extending that hip line. And on my west line, my back west line, I am marking half inch inwards from the edge there. And then I'll connect it to meet my hip line and I'll cut this out. So this takes care of the back waistline contouring or the back waist measurement. Else you will use this formula of your total waist circumference divided by two minus 0 0.5. And whatever you have, you divide that by two because we are cutting this on fold. So when I'm done with that, I am done cutting both the front and the back panel and I will go ahead to sew it now. For the skirt, I'll be using a lace. So I'll simply cut the lace exactly what I have on the pattern. And this is it, I have interlocked the edges. I did this to both the front and the back panel. So I went ahead to cut my lining. The lining will be shorter than the skirt. But exactly how I sew the main fabric is how I will sew the lining because I'll still need the lining to turn out some, you know, some parts. So now I want to show us how I sew it. So now it's not just a straight zipper allowance. So you'll be sewing following the contour that you have already created. And I'll do that and insert my zipper like this. So the next thing I'll bring the front panel the right side of the, the front panel facing the right side of the back panel and I'll place like so and this is how I will sew it. So we'll know the same allowance we are using. I will measure my waistline, the front waistline all the way to the end, from one end to the other and I'll do the same thing to my back waistline and whatever I have, I will subtract my waist circumference from that and whatever difference i have i'll divide it by four and i'll use the difference as my same allowance so for this part because i'm using for an inbuilt corset you have to use your snatch waist measurement so for this one i subtracted four inches from you know the normal waist circumference and that's what i used I had 31 as the snatch waist so whatever i have i'll subtract that 31 from whatever i have so if i have 35 i'm subtracting 31 from that and i'll have four inches as difference i'll divide that four inch 
by by four and i'll have one inch so i'm using one inch on both front and back panel for the same allowance and i'll do the same thing on the other side so that means i'm taking out the four inches which i have for the same allowance i'll do the same thing to the hip line measuring the front and the back panel on the hip line and whatever difference i have i will subtract my normal you know my hip circumference from that and the difference i'll divide by four and use it as my same allowance so here it is i have you know sewn out the same allowance ironed and i did the same sewing to the lining so at this point i'll cut out the excess that i have of the zipper i'll cut out the excess that i have there and then on my lining i'll lose the the zipper allowance remember i saw everything so i'll open it up i saw that part with loose stitch so it will be easy for me to lose it so i'll lose it and bring the right side of the lining to face the right side of the main fabric on the zipper i am placing like this i'll pin it and i'm sewing the zipper not the teeth of the zipper you know that part that you have a space on the zipper i'll sew the lining the zipper and the main fabric just for your neat you know neat finishing so i'll take it round the waistline to the other end and i'll do the same thing so because i'm using it for an inbuilt corset after i have sewn out this you know this part on the zipper i will sew on the west line i'll measure about four inches you know from the zipper i'll measure about four inches inwards and notch that part that's the part i would use the lining to turn the main fabric top stitch and iron like this so i went ahead to just sew the other part that was remaining you know just sew them together so it won't give me issues when i'm sewing it down so what i did to this part of you know the zipper part i did it to the other end as well okay so i will now sew this skirt to the inbuilt corset that i've been working on i'll leave the tutorial of this blouse later so now if you look closely i have marked on the waistline where I will place the skirt this style is not a bad square it's a straight style so on the waist i'll simply place the skirt like i have on the waist line now I'll place it just below the drapes that you can see there so i'll make sure that the seam you know of the skirt aligns with the seam that i have on the corset that's why i said when you're making the skirt a skirt for an inbuilt corset you have to use your snatch waist measurement so that everything will align well and you won't have any excess so i'll go ahead and pin this part of the skirt to the corset and like you can see the other seam of the skirt aligns with the corset so i'll pin that and i'll use half inch to sew it to the corset i'll sew the skirt to the corset and I'll take it all the way to the, you know, to where you have the eyelet. So I'll stop about two inches to the end, you know, before the zipper. And I'll do the same thing to this other side. And when I'm done with that, this is what we have. I'm almost done with this dress. I'll simply just tuck the drapes to cover it up to that same part. And that'll be it. So if this video adds any value to you at all, give me a thumbs up, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.